Rumors are that last week's episode of Real Housewives of Potomac did major damage to Peter. What was that damage? And can he recover? Well, I have some new information that may answer those questions and more right after this. What's up, Kimfo? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, Kimfo. Come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly Peter did major damage last week on Real Housewives of Potomac. What was the damage? And can he recover? Well, I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more. And here it goes. Rumors are that last week's episode of Real Housewives of Potomac allegedly did a huge disservice to Peter Thomas. An industry insider said, Last week's episode of Real Housewives of Potomac was brutal for Peter. I can only imagine that he is regretting stepping foot into the Real Housewives of Potomac franchise. I can't even remember, said the source, Peter having a more horrible filming day in his eight years of Real Housewives of Atlanta than he did on his one filming day with Housewives of Potomac. Another source said, It was all just messy, but much more sloppy on Peter's part. Why would he even do something like this, continued the source. All those rumors were beginning to die down, if not all had disappeared. But now the rumors and speculations are back and alive and well. So the question is, what damage did Peter do to himself last week on Real Housewives of Potomac? Well... All industry insiders agree that Peter has once again shown fans that allegedly he is a horrible person to go into business with. One source said, Just when you thought Peter had finally figured out the keys to success, he sabotages his own plan. Rumors were long held that Peter was a horrible person to go into business with. The source continued, we saw firsthand how he allegedly messed over Cynthia to the point that she had to file a lawsuit. Then the whole bar one incident, allegedly of non-payments, wasn't a good look on his part either, ended the source. Another source said, I could have told Wendy that trying to go into business with Peter Thomas was a bad idea. Everything about the way he does business just reads alleged scam. I'm pretty sure that's what Eddie saw in Peter as well. The source continues, Who tries to get someone to invest their own money up front as an investor, but stalls on giving a person a walkthrough of the space in which the building will be located? The more he tried to paint Wendy as a bad business person, the more he came off as a scammer, ended the source. All industry insiders agree that Peter did major damage to his personal and professional brand. He really did live up to his nickname of being Messy Patricia. Now, kinfolk, I must say, hearing this information from my sources and seeing what other insiders had to say about Peter and then watching last week's episode of Real Housewives of Potomac, I must say, even if you do not believe that this last week's episode showed Peter as a bad person to do business with, he really didn't give you much to work with in making your perception of him seem accurate. And as we watch over the uh, episode and as you go this information, it seems obvious as to why Peter's uh, alleged plan didn't work. And here's why. First, uh, Peter's, Peter's alleged plan didn't work because, one, Mia is just not a smart person um, to link up with in terms of producing drama um, on a reality TV show. 
Now, we all know that Peter is a reality TV show veteran. After spending, I want to say, seven plus years on Real Housewives of Potomac, we can all pretty much assume that he knows how to produce drama on a reality TV show. But the thing is, trying to make Wendy to be the bad person and linking up with Mia to allegedly bring out that plan or carry out that plan was just a bad move from the jump. Because one, Mia is just not smart enough to do something like that, especially against a person like Wendy who constantly has her ducks lined up in a row. And I'm more than willing to believe that is why Mia had that violent reaction because she realized her plan was not working. And the more Wendy got her, uh, came at her and wrapped her up with her words, she realized that she was not on the intellectual level as Wendy. So she had to resort to physical violence and physical assault. Um, so with that being said, I can see why my sources are saying that Peter's whole attempt to create drama between Wendy and the other ladies was a bad look for him for him and his business because it makes it seem as if he was very sloppy. And I see why my sources said that he came out very sloppy because he linked up with probably the most sloppy person on the cast to bring about this drama. Which ultimately backfired not only for Mia, Giselle, and Robin, but also backfired for Peter. And here's why. This whole plan, I want to say that if you are to believe the speculations and if you are to believe the rumors, because right now it's all alleged information. But if the plan for Peter was to get eyes into his restaurant to get people to uh, uh, know that there's a bar one in Miami... Um, he could have gone about this an entirely different type of way. He really should have executed this uh, this appearance on the Real Housewives of Upper Potomac as a learning experience for Wendy. Like taking Wendy under his wings, showing her the ropes behind opening and owning a bar. And that way he could have gotten multiple scenes. He could have come up as a very legit businessman who's learned his from his mistakes and who wants to bring up other minority business owner in, owners in this industry to help them succeed and avoid the mistakes he made. Now, that would have been the accurate way to go about doing this. But, unfortunately for Peter, he decided to go about it the messy and manipulative way. And the reason why that plan did not work and the reason why it came off as a scam for Peter is because fans of the Real Housewives of or the Real Housewives franchise all, all together are more consciously woke and they're much more um um understanding of how things work they have much more understanding of how reality tv show shows work and so now they're more aware of these things so with that being said it's kind of hard to pull one over their eyes and over our eyes it's kind of hard to paint wendy as the uh bad guy or the one who doesn't understand business when peter you have literally an entire seven some seasons of business deals that went wrong and people seen up front how you pretty much ended those businesses or how you pretty much contribute to allegedly those businesses going uh belly up so with that being said fans are much more conscious of your track record and it's going to be hard for you and it was hard for you as you're seeing now um trying to paint wendy out as the bad business person when everyone knows she's just getting started in this hospitality industry but you have been there much longer than she has and you may have more losses than wins but also Kim folk is another part to this story that's uh very telling and i can see why it was a bad idea for peter to even go about this storyline this way and it's because of this I'm not sure if you all are aware, but on Twitter, I have been seeing a lot of tweets about people allegedly going to Robin's hat business um, page and, and really giving her bad reviews or trashing her hat line or counseling orders or returning orders because of the way they saw her treat Wendy. And I think that's something that Robin did not take into account when she pulled this stunt with Giselle, Mia, and um, Peter allegedly. And so for Peter, for someone who is somewhat already had been in hot water um, with the way he treated Cynthia. And like my sources are saying that all of that drama had died down and people were pretty much beginning to see Peter as a legit business person. Especially with two seemingly successful other restaurant chains. So with that being said, it's like now he runs the risk of people not coming to his restaurants. 
People not uh, patronizing his bars because they feel like the way he treated Wendy and the way he pretty much helped create that drama by um, getting the other ladies to rally around uh, together and try to come at Wendy off false information by half-truths and somewhat whole lies, then it really makes him look kind of shady. And a lot of people probably who are fans of Wendy or just fans of just human decency might choose now to stay away from his restaurants. So I can see why my sources are saying that this was a very sloppy move by Peter and it just rekindled all of those rumors about him being an alleged scammer or a shady person. Now, Kim folk, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think these rumors of Peter allegedly really doing damage to his personal and professional brand are accurate? Or do you think that People who attend his, who uh, visit his restaurants and his bars are going to look over this and pretty much put most of the blame on Mia, Giselle, and Robin and not necessarily Peter. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Alright, Kim Folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.